Shut up, chat. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have up. to finish what I started. By 87, the very same. What I same. am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. So I heard that a lot of things are approved by the Vatican. This is my second time making that reference, I suppose, or something, whatever they want to call it. Anyway, Faith, the Unholy Trinity. I like this game. This is my first time saying this. I definitely didn't repeat this twice. This is cool because it's three speedruns in one. You have chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. Uh, in 2022, they all came out together. This is going to be a commentator run going over all of it. I'm going to be doing all the good endings. So I'll be getting the best ending in all three games. Um, this will also be one giant category under marathon mode. So we'll be jumping one, two, three. Be fun. Uh, as well, I do want to mention a lot of the tech here can be reused for Good Christian Boy. If we get Good Christian Boy, awesome. However, it's not always the case because some of the fights in this game can be mean. However, I do want to mention that this video, uh, you know, this video, this, you know, commentary can be used to do Good Christian Boy. Anyway, that being said, let's go. So, first things first. You want to make sure you're going the right way. We're taking a very specific route for a good reason. You're going to start by going right about three times. So. That'll be good. Actually, is it twice or is it three times? I think it's three times. Oh, no, it's right there. Okay, it was two times. Anyway. You're now going to do a glitch. You may have noticed something there. It was actually twice. I was right. It was twice. It was twice. It was right. It was twice. Okay. Good. Anyway, here's the glitch. Red, give me one moment. If you tap the space bar very quickly. Ow, oh, that hurt. What ends up happening is you can be using the cross while moving. You may have noticed right there. Uh, I immediately got rid of Michael. Michael is the enemy right there. Ah, oh, the Mercenary will be doing good. You want to do that because mobile crosses is busted. This is a game where normally to attack, you need to stand uh, in place. You have to stand, so like, you know, solitary. Uh, this way... You're going to be able to just simply cross while moving. And that's going to be very convenient for moving. Now, you may have noticed something. I exercised the pond, and I exercised that picture. Uh, we're doing some exorcisms. Exorcisms in this game are very, very important. Re and this is only in Chapter 1. Chapter 2 onward, don't worry about it. You, don't need, you only need those two, by the way. But getting those two exorcisms is actually going to buff your damage. Also, the moment the screen starts freaking out, walk up. It does. Here is Amy. By the way, if you want to see a cool Faith cosplay, check out my Twitter. It's on my pinned tweet. Alrighty, so mobile crossing. Uh, you want to get it out? You'll know if you did it right if you push the button and... Uh, you know, it does that. Anyway, it's always the last one to be flashing. Uh, she'll always spawn in the same spots. So we're going to be going between the two rooms. Uh, just walking back and forth. You need about six of these. Like I mentioned, um, normally if you cross, you can't move, you're stuck, a glitch. Let's see if I get it. I got a quick tap there. I'm going to be able to do it while I'm moving. This is something you're going to have to feel out. Also, in case you're wondering how to find it, it's always the last one that flashes. All right, now it is absolutely vital that you must get the glitch in this hallway. It's okay not to get the glitch, but you must get in this hallway. Because he'll start doing damage room before the fight begins. I have to finish what I started. We'll see the dookie. It could be fun. Might have some fun ideas. I like that one. I thought it was a neat idea. Anyway, avoid the shadow dude and get some damage on Amy. And there's phase one. Phase one, nice and easy. Uh, phase two is where it starts kicking in. Uh, she is going to be, uh, 
Always the last one. You actually don't need to mobile crossing. Just know that she will always attack behind you. So just avoid it. Uh, also follow the blood. Very easy on phase two. See? Yeah, it's nice. The Exorcist kind of has a game, which is, uh... There's not a lot of Exorcism games out there, so I really like Fate. And like I mentioned, if you... Oh, by, also, by the way, it's not enough to do the Exorcism. You must read the note that corresponds to those. Why do you go for those ones? Anyway, she'll move in the direction of a pentagram. Do not touch that red thing. You'll die. Also, mobile crossing does work here. And you want to get it as soon as possible, because then you can attack while moving. Uh, she'll almost always die on the next phase. Uh, she'll actually... For some reason, during this phase, you can actually attack her. I don't know why. And she'll end up back up here. And... Good fight. We have now beaten uh, most of Faith Chapter 1. We're not done yet. Funny enough, there actually is... No, we're not doing Mortis. We'll get, we've got Mortis at the end of all this. I do it well. well. We'll go for GCB if we can get it. We're not going to do Mortis till the very, very end, or if I die on accident, or whichever one happens first. Anyway, there is a secret boss you can do if you're a lore nerd where you get the shotgun and you can fire at a mirror in the left room from here. But for now, chat, you can have this. All right, now here is a neat trick. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be going down, right, up, left. Down. And you're at the car. You immediately leave the forest by doing that movement. Uh, by the way, you go to the car, fire the... Oh my god, what? That can happen. That can happen. You want to reset this? No, no, that'll be funny. All right, there's your mortis, happy? That can happen. Anyway, the reason why I don't go for GCB is because random stuff like that will happen all the time. The funniest part is I actually tried aiming up to get the shot. There we go. I don't know why he didn't avoid that. Anyway, the run is done when you shoot Michael. Uh, time doesn't end until you see the actual ending. Uh, I'm not going to be getting GCB because I definitely hit I I robbed. I was robbed. I don't know why that didn't go off. It's so weird. And that's why I don't always go for GCB, because something always comes up. Oh, Daduki. Good question. It respawns. It's, it says gun with one bullet. The gun will respawn. I was robbed. I was absolutely robbed, man. So GCB is an acronym that goes for Good Christian Boy. Uh, good Christian Boy is that you beat Faith, get all the best endings without dying. And it's immensely tough because you have to go through three games that are all actually pretty difficult without dying. Like, a lot of these fights would be a lot tougher than they look. Anyway, we'll be eating some time loss because I decided to continue the run. And chat wanted to see more of this. Uh, anyway, mash these because you do need to mash them. Uh, if you have a controller, you can actually mash that and it's a little bit faster. But I don't like plugging in both the controller and anything else. That's true. Father uh, Erdorf did retweet my cosplay. So, anyway, chat, you want to see what the average Coomer looks like? It's right here. Three months of <laughs> three months of gooning, and he looks like that. He did? Yeah! That's really sweet. He did comment on my run. He did. Off of my uh, boss rush thing. You're thinking of the darkness uh, stars. The darkness one and possibly two. That's you. <laughs> Chat, type one if that picture I showed was you after a, after a boom session, as they call it. Anyway, pick up the cross. Uh, aim. I hate the phrase gooning so much, by the way. 
<laughs> he took the goon picture. <laughs> uh, I never noticed that. He actually steals the goon picture. <laughs> Why did he take it? Okay, okay. Anyway, uh, if you're wondering what he says here, he says, I have the body of a pig. Also, here's my dance moves. Chat, when I hit up the club, this is what I do. I'm gonna go to a wedding and just... Anyway, Prologue of Faith Chapter 2 is now done. We are now gonna be getting into the actual game. Faith Chapter 2 is weird because I think this one's the meanest one. Um, Faith Chapter 2 is not a nice game. There's a lot that can go wrong in this one. Um, tricks still apply. Uh, differences between Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. So you can still do the cross glitch. However, I am ordained. Uh, I'm a dudist minister. Uh, something that should be known about this game is exorcisms don't matter anymore. It's only in Chapter 1 they matter. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I, live, I live in America, so I did the Tao of the Dude. I can do weddings, technically. Yeah, I can marry people. Alrighty, so these are three bosses. Faith Chapter 2 is hard, because this is the most boss rushy one of the games. Like, the other games have bosses, don't be wrong. Uh, but it's gonna be a little bit tougher. By the way, Mobile Crossing still works in this game. Same deal, you tap it really quickly. So I literally just... Like that. Like, I do that to my spacebar. I don't fucking slam it! Also has a Mustafo. But, you know, you want a very swift tap. I can marry them? In theory, yes. But I'd have to look more into how I can actually do that. I know I'm ordained to do it. I just have to look more into the... See, yeah, I do like a, a courthouse stuff and all that. Anyway, we have a lot of boss fights. And the boss fights in this game are rough. Luckily, Mobile Crossing will last a long time. Uh, you only have to refresh it between fights. So, you're going to start by facing right during this fight. Uh, he's going to spawn right here. You can be hitting him while this happens. Uh, the hardest part is right here. It's a little bit RNG uh, on how he moves. Uh, so, make sure you move properly. Otherwise, it's a very easy fight. Uh, that's like... I, I don't know what his actual name is, but he's the frog. You don't need this note, but I grabbed it on accident. Got it again. I don't know about that one, Kylo Ren. Oh, okay, kiddo, we're doing good. Uh, as well, every area will checkpoint, so it's fine. And this is easy. It's gonna be right, up, left, up. It's right there. The puzzle's right there. So right up, left, up. Uh, the first boss is definitely one of the weirder ones. It's not necessarily hard, but it's easy to fall for the, uh, the bait in the middle of the phase two. Um, this boss is definitely going to be a straightforward boss fight. I don't think this one's too bad. Uh, the third one's the one that normally will kill your run if you're doing GCB. Or if you're doing, like, anything. Anyway, if you do it right, the fight will begin. It's kind of funny because you can get to be very aggressive and you win. The game's not expecting you to have the, the mobile crossing as strong as it is. Anyway, the fun part is this one, because the gimmick here is this is like a baby, and it will hop between the clouds. So if you get unlucky, you can get, uh, you know, tagged uh, in not a good way here. As well, your actual range is not all that good. There we go. Alright, cool. I usually play this one a little bit safer. Uh, luckily, Mobile Crossing makes it much more trivial. Um, I can't stress enough how useful that is. And it still works in all iterations of the game. I'm playing on the latest patch. Uh, once you kill all three of the bosses, you'll just go right back in here. And then you have to take out the fourth enemy, who is... ME! Imagine I jammed in my own eye. Be wild. All right, now here is a cool strategy. Uh, you can go up left. It's a little bit of a weird angle, so just try to finagle your way through that. But once you kind of know what to do, it's pretty easy. But you can go through that, and it skips having to walk all the way around. 
Faith Chapter 2 is also the most interesting because there's a lot of additional fights if you do like the bad ending. And it's kind of funny because the good ending is kind of the, uh, you know, it's lighter than the bad ending in a weird way. Alrighty, so the strategy here is you're looking for one candle. It will almost always spawn in this room. By the way, you're going to wait a bit between searching rooms. Actually, wait a minute, I'm dumb. You can go up, then back down. Watch the candles. This is actually a little bit RNG. I'm also getting bodied right now. There we go, we have the fight. Normally the fight would you would want to get in that room. No, oh, she's gonna spawn three times and zoom in on your position. So, in case you're wondering, uh, ooh, all right. What the hell is this fight? Stop that! There we go. That's better. That was brutal. That was VJ Smith. All right, there we go. So you don't want to go back and forth between rooms because it will actually kill you, like straight up. It will, it will just kill you. So I think, I don't remember when I split that one. Anyway, the answer to this puzzle is on the ground. It's right there. It's all the symbols. It's weird, but it should be something like this. Uh, it's pretty easy when you get the hang of it. I think this is right. If you get it wrong, um, it will just try to kill you and you go back to the beginning. Thank you, by the way. If they get a sub, going over to Brendan Stein Griffin, Mazzy. It's much appreciated. The answer is always the same. Uh, the way you'd figure it out casually is you would just kind of, uh, you know, uh, trial and error, and then just don't die. And by the way, you're mashing for a while here. I mashed both W and down. But thank you, Mazzy Sounds Lead. So it's much appreciated. I got bodied by RNG. It's kind of sad. What's with the deers? Uh, there's a lot of cult sacrifice happening in these woods. Alright. Also, more wise, I love Faith. It's such a cool game. Um... The idea behind it's all about, uh, you know, Father John Ward, a man who is plagued by his, uh, you know, his demons. Also, uh, same deal, you can kind of do that trick again if you go to the top, or you just sort of do a circle, and then you can immediately, uh, be done with that section. Bonhai, Bonhai, thank you for 222 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and cheers. Hope you're doing good. Yeah, I really like the Faith, uh, the Faith games. Um, Faith is really nice. It's all about, you know, a man struggling with his faith and uh, regret. Well, it's kind of funny because depending on how you play the game, he can be plagued by his lack of faith. He can be uh, plagued by his lack of conviction. He can um, come up strong. You ever on the bad end? I don't do the bad end as much because it's just a little bit less interesting to me than the good endings. The good endings have a lot more tech. Um, the bad endings outside of chapter two aren't really like chapter three's bad ending sucks. Anyway, do not move. Here's the speedrun strat. I greeted. I greeted. Okay, that's fine. Luckily, it's a generous checkpoint. I thought I could go a little bit earlier. Mortis. You won. That's fun. Ever seen that one? Okay, I deserve that one. I deserve that one. But yeah, you don't move. That's what happens when you move. I'm wanting to show you what happens. You know what happened? I got really greedy. I thought I can get, uh, get him by the tail of his toes. All right, chat. This is a good time. I need to play an ad right now. If you do want to avoid it, it's going to be ad-blocked for sure or something to the channel. I'm going to do it now so you don't miss the boss fight. So, all right, the final boss fight. So, ready? Crime game. Okay, here it goes. Yay. All right. There. Back to normal. Satine lives. It does. 
All right, at this point, we're gonna follow the blood. All right, yeah, you know, follow the blood. Wait, no, it's up here. It's in the sewer, and then you follow the blood. Wait, no, I'm. Oh my god, sorry, my brain. You go left. Go up the sewer grate. You go left. Sorry, my brain just like, you know. I know you see John start going up. My brain had to skip a beat there. Oh god. I can't believe I died of that. That's all greed, man. Greed really gets you, doesn't it? Alrighty. So, now we're back, and this coming fight is going to be one of the more rough ones. The idea behind this is to get to the final boss, you're going to need a uh, flashlight. And luckily for us, there'll be one right down here. Get your pre-cross ready. And once you get the flashlight in this room, you'll be getting into a fight. The pre-cross is really nice because you're fighting in the dark, and this can be really difficult otherwise. Really good Alright, phase one is nice and easy. Uh, you actually won't drop the pre-cross during this fight, luckily enough. So, it's actually a really good way of being able to know where he is. Uh, he does have the potential to spawn directly on you, by the way. So, uh, be very careful with that. He's also RNG, if I sh uh, he wasn't apparent. Oh, there he is. Right, he's attacking me. Good. Let's see. But yeah, this guy's two phases. One phase is attacking you, one phase is hiding. Uh, if you're able to find him, it's quite nice. Yeah, this guy has a lot of secrets. It's really cool. Oh yeah, I I I I wasn't doing GCB right when uh right when I died to Michael shot. Like I wasn't gonna bother trying GCB. All right, so let me dark again. Uh, you're gonna have to feel it out. So hopefully you can get the glitch. Uh, you can do it here if you want to. It's a good way of being able to see. Uh, do make sure you can get that though. Actually, I don't even know if it uh, activates this cutscene. So do do it again just in case. This door will be locked. I do not. There are cultists, so they can get you. Uh, mobile crossing will be really good, though. What sound effect? I don't actually know. You spoil it? Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it right now. But sure. Once you get the key, right up through here. Welcome back, everyone. You came as time for the actual boss fight. Ready? Alrighty. So. For phase chapter 2, this is one of the parts that really messes with people as well. This boss fight requires you to not only deal damage, you must also protect Father Garcia. This is not, this is easier said than done. One of, one of those things right here. Uh, Garcia does have some moments where it can get a little bit dicey. Uh, alright, boss time. Like I said, you do damage to her and you also protect Garcia. Garcia kind of has an Oswald awesome thing. So, it's RNG because... Enemies will spawn in the room, and you need to make sure that they do not mess with Garcia. You have to protect him. Uh, best RNG is you can get into a position where you can just, you know, cross the whole time, and then, you know, you'll get something like this. However, enemies can spawn literally on top of him if you're not careful. Garcia also randomly decides where to walk. I don't know why. It's kind of actually I know why I know why it randomly decides. Uh, it's randomly based on where she spawns. She she spawns in randomly, and Garcia will try to adjust to that. Because I have set my 
Mobile Crossing still great. I'm not kidding when I say they can really spawn on top of them, by the way. That's pretty annoying. <laughs> Hi, oh, nice I hope you're doing good. Good mortis. I had two mortises already during this. Alright. Uh, this would be like the boss fight from earlier. Uh, alright, I'm all crossing. You remember the fight earlier with the, uh, I think his name was the Deceiver? Uh, same deal. Uh, she will uh, do various attacks in the dark, and you need to damage her. Uh, getting the mobile cross during this fight is very important because you will be able to actually, you know, attack while moving. Uh, otherwise, this fight is a massive pain. Alright, phase one's pretty good. Mobile crossing reactivated. Uh, she has a variety of attacks. Uh, the wavy one's probably the worst one. Uh, Father Garcia will always aim the cross at her. That was really close on both ends, by the way. My god. By the way, every time you damage your mole cross, you'll need to refresh. In fact, I don't even recommend entirely using it. Uh, this phase is just a pentagram. That the game can't rob me forever, right? Good fight. Barely got it. By the way, I want to tell you right now. Um, with the way that fight went, I almost died and Garcia almost died. Um, both of you can die. You need to protect both of you. If he dies, you do not get the best ending for this uh, Faith Chapter 2. If you die, obviously that's just a death. So, you must have both survived the entire encounter. Anyway, pretty good fight for what it's worth. Let me see if I can do something here really quick. Oh, I also My have, I nightmares know, are done. getting worse. Ever since I left that house, I am haunted by visions of demons. I finished my work with Amy, but now the boys yep. are in danger. This time I must not fail. <clears throat> Malfas must am be I? stopped. Am I? Oh, my coast is gone. The workers of darkness grow stronger. This will be my greatest test of faith yet. Alrighty. Mercy on my soul. We're now getting ready for the profane Sabbath. We're getting ready for Faith Chapter 3. Faith Chapter 3 is probably where all of the action happens, if you know what I mean. Huh? Alrighty. I love Faith Chapter 3. This game, unironically, was... I'll say this right now, in case you're wondering. Uh, 2023 was a big year. This game right here, well, the whole Unholy Trinity, but Faith Chapter 3 was quite literally my favorite game of last year that I played. I played a lot of good games, a lot of bad games. I played a big variety of stuff. This was the best game I played in 2023. Hands down. It hits hard. It is beautiful. In fact, you can see all the dialogue and stuff too, so. I really love this game. I, I loved it so much. Like, again, yeah, I did the, I did a, I cost it as Father John Ward. Also, I realize I kind of have it like, you know, my hair is actually shorter. I have that haircut and I look like a pretty generic dude, I guess. So like, I was like, I kind of look like the guy. Like, not like, obviously, I actually was clean shaven when I did it. So if you want to see, you know, it's barely edged Faith out. A lot of people compare the two. I personally like Faith a lot more. I think Faith has a more, much more general story to tell. Yeah, I want to play that day one Mavericks. I am, I am pumped for it. Anyway, Faith Chapter 3 is going to have a lot more lore into the history of John Ward, so there's going to be a lot of sections that are going to be uh, lore-based. Um, and you, you see moving towards an area, it's when it's ready, we're going to be doing that. Uh, some of these prologue sections will have, like, minor puzzles to do, but you may recognize this is actually Chapter 1. Well, I like Faith for a lot of reasons as a game. Kind of talking about it generally for a second, because right now we have a, a like you know a pause from the speedrun tech of this game so far. Uh, I really like Faith because it has a very realistic interpretation and a healthy interpretation of a lot of different things. Uh, one of my favorite things, or one of my least, you know, one of my least favorite things in horror games and horror media is that religion is almost always painted as like 
I remember I played a game, I think it was like Burnside Lane, and I was so tired of this trope. And it's just that, oh, the twist is the priest is evil. Now, obviously, you know, there are priests that are terrible people, but this game explores it with a lot of nuance. You don't know if Father John Ward's good or bad. You don't know if he's, you know, making, you know, being terrible. You don't know if he's doing good. A lot of it's shrouded in mystery. A lot of it's shrouded based on the choices you make in the game. You make some dark decisions, but also you can rise up and be the hero. It's about a very troubled man and explores some very interesting, you know, situations. In play Burnside yet, it's painted incredibly obvious. It doesn't spoil anything, okay, Corona. It's not it's also not a major character. It's like it's like a minor thing. I'll say right now. And the big thing in Burnside Lane is something else entirely. I was thinking I forgot to spoil. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't don't go to that door. Hey, don't worry, it's not gonna spoil anything major, okay, Corona. It definitely will not spoil anything major. That game's long. Like, what I said is probably chapter one of, like, all of it. What's in that door? That's actually where the bad ending is. Because the bad ending is uh, John Ward at his worst. We were going to see all the best endings, but the bad ending in this game is an idea called Damnatio Memore, which is John really is the evil he, you know, evil he's expecting him to be. He is the ultimate evil. He let go of his faith, and as a result, he let everyone down. He allowed the profane Sabbath to happen. He allowed Amy Ward to succumb. Everything bad happened happened because of John, and he is entirely to blame. And as a result, he will get the ultimate punishment of being forgotten and erased forever. We're doing the good ending. John's going to have a happy ending. I don't like it. I like games a lot more that kind of explore, you know, just kind of not a immediately good or immediately bad. It's I like... You know, flawed characters. Anyway, we're gonna be grabbing the crowbar, and then we're gonna be finally getting into Faith Chapter 3. One left the crowbar here. Yeah. But also, I think that's why it has such a neat, uh, you know, a lot of neat ideas that, you know, get tackled in this game. All ending marathon win. I don't know how long that's take. Honey, oh my god, jump scare! So that's good Christian boy. We're just doing good endings because I did not trust myself not to die. Alright, so there is a fancy strat you can do where you can hide up next to that body on the, uh... The bottom left. Oh, by the way, that is loss. I don't do it. Uh, I don't trust it. I never pull it off, but I know you can do it. Um... Personally, I like to wait till he's in the top right. You can go fast, though, if you are, uh, you know, playing it risky. If you get really good, you can find that exact timing. I don't ever trust it. For some reason, I just don't go in the right spot. By the way, do not move while he is next to you. Do not even, like, show your feet. He will kill you. You'll be like a dreaming. Just... Anyway, now he's over there. We can make our way down, and we have escaped phase one. All right, phase two is gonna be pretty easy. We're gonna make our way down. I need to hide. Also, I hope my game doesn't crash. If it does, I'll just continue off from chapter three. Uh, it has been an issue as of late. Anyway, right now we're gonna be going on the bottom left. Uh, we're gonna hide among the bodies. Um, that's gonna prevent him from killing us. He actually might get pretty close to us. It won't kill you. This is the almost exact spot. I don't know how I lost a minute, by the way. I don't know what I did wrong. The splits for this game are weird. What the hell is going out here? You're coming with me. And twice? I've died twice so far. But I mean, that wouldn't be like... To Actually, it would be, wouldn't it? Anyway. Funny enough, mobile crossing does work in this game, but now to mobile cross, and what you need to do, you need to hold down the cross, 
pause the game and unpause the game while holding down the crossbar on the whole time. Mobile crossing is unique in Faith Chapter 3. By the way, this boss fight is based on the cop. So, uh, if you don't get him in the exact right spot, he won't deal damage. There's a line you can get. I didn't get it. Uh, ideally, you kind of want him to, you know, be chasing you across here while the cop actually goes. But the cop is not always going to be the most consistent. Luckily, he did pretty good on the ending there. He did all that, but... No, do not raid my fridge. Anyway, not a bad fight. Let get the volume of the game down. Uh... It may have been better earlier. Because right now we're like 30 minutes into this. Just a little. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do it now. We're kind of 30 minutes into this run. That would have been nicer uh, earlier. Especially considering the next part's going to be pretty bad. Anyway, we're going to get back on the gurney. Game. Game. Area. Back on the gurney. I might be able to try something. Let's see. Anyway, you're going to be hiding in between the bodies right here. And then you wait. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can uh, quickly alt-tab. It's already low. I already lowered it a while ago. That's right. There you go. You just wait long enough, then you're in. It actually won't take that long. I did have alt-tab. By the way, I am messing up here. Let me in. Let me in the game. Oh my god, I can I can remember it entirely again. There we go. We're in. All right. Here's a fun part. That policeman okay? Yeah, he'll walk it off. He'll be fine. He definitely won't be murdered in an alley. Don't worry, he'll be all right. You can't skip the cutscenes. That's kind of one of the fun parts. Faith Chapter 3 has a lot of cutscenes. You can't skip them. One of the downsides, but you get to see a lot of cool imagery. Anyway, chat. Post ah. <laughs> there it is. Hey, Alright. It used to be faster to go up there. However, I'm on the latest patch of the game. On the latest patch, you can't go up. If you're down patching the game, you can go up. On the latest patch, you can't go up. It's kind of weird. Anyway, here's the hardest boss fight in the game. And all of faith, this will be the hardest boss fight. I will eat short with boys. Dead, yes, and Martin. Have you seen them? Yes, by the way, uh, noise warning. So scary. I believe in now. Nice. Okay. So, the boss fight. Stand on the candle. Good. Okay, so, the babies attacking you don't actually deal damage. They slow you. Which is kind of funny, because a lot of people assume they'll kill you if they touch you. I did. But, uh... I'm on the latest patch. Yes, uh, so things are added in the latest patch. This is the fight. So, this spot is a magic spot where you will always damage the, uh, the younglings coming out. So you can deal damage to the boss as well. The only ones you have to kill are the ones with, like, bright red eyes. Good. 
GG. All right, so that is uh that is the mother. So fun uh, fun part about Faith is in order to get the true ending, you need to do three additional bosses that are hidden bosses. Faith Chapter 2 actually has a bad ending hidden behind all bosses. Uh, Faith Chapter 3 hid them behind, uh, hid the, you know, the secret ending, uh, the good ending behind the bo secret bosses. Uh, secret bosses in these games are really fun because they require you to do, like, weird mechanics. And this one, it just solved the gurney puzzle. Uh, chapter 2 is probably the most obtuse one, which that one is wild. Uh, and then Chapter 3 is pretty weird. Uh, it's kind of funny as well because there's a lot of freedom in how you move in Faith Chapter 3 because you can leave immediately. So you're also they burn the cop car. If you weren't doing best ending, you can just do it there. What are they going to do? And then holds the cross. Also, Chuck, you don't have to bestow faith. You can post the prophet. They tie the boss too. The boss is that they're they're together. It's sort of weird. Yeah, I'm glad the cop survived. If you see the sigils being removed, by the way, you know you did it right. Anyway, I stand right where it spawns. That's why you stand there. And they're dating? Well, it's more of a mother-baby uh, relationship. I don't think they're dating, no. So that's a fun strat. You stand directly where the book will spawn. It always the first spot's always the same. In fact, all the spots are always the same. But you can see the other spots. This is a meow mix. Good evening. That little shake emote you got there. I like me Jessica's shake emote. It's a nice emote. Oh no! Oh, this guy, Boston. Anyway, the moment they spawn in, you just kind of leave. And then you immediately head back down the moment they uh, kind of walk into the kitchen. Any contenders out uh, from FNAF minigames? Uh, I don't know about 8 bits. But, uh, maybe? I'm more about that Super Nintendo, because Clock Tower, baby. I saw that costume, by the way. It was a cool costume. Alright, so what I'm learning, by the way, Chad, is I'm pretty sure my splits are, uh, scuffed. Because... Should split right there. Yeah, my splits are- I'm, I'm gonna re-split these. This is- I have weird splits. Another dream? It's less of a dream, and it's more of a nightmare of what happened previous. Anyway, I like grabbing this note so I can just kind of walk through the exit. Uh, because the notes will continue to pile up if you don't read them. Sweet home? I don't know. I really don't know. Blitz. For me. Alrighty, time for chapter two. Doo -doo 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 -doo. The order of the elevators are always gonna be the same. You're gonna be going in the elevator, then I struck it is. And we go into the third floor. By the way, if you want to find out how to do this, there actually is a like notes throughout the game that tell you where things are. Uh, the third floor, though, you're going here because that is going to get you the key, which is going to allow you to go, uh, you know, get everything else. Three B. It's kind of fun, too, because you can do certain things that you don't like. It's You imagine you have to do a lot more of this game, but you weirdly don't. There's some things you can bypass that you don't think you can bypass. Uh, anyway, the next one is going to be the fifth floor. No, I don't want Malort. Malort. I think the follow. I don't even think I can smell the Lord. It smells like absinthe. That's vile. But worse. No, Merlot is a wine. Malort is vile, chat. 
Anyway. Mobile Crossing, still pretty great. Make sure you exercise that. That's gonna allow you to kind of do the rest of the game here. Uh, there are two sigils to, uh, you're gonna have to get to get the boss fight. Uh, we're not gonna worry about that yet. Because we're, in order to get one of them, we're gonna have to go to the bottom floor. So. We're now gonna be going to the 10th floor. By the way, what I do is I go down, then left, because it actually rubber bands. A little bit. I, I won't go from 1 to 10, but you can go from like 1 to 6 and then you can go to 5. But if you try going like to 10, it will go to 10. So you can have a neat roundabout way of getting there. Anyway, time for one of the coolest part of the coolest parts of this game. Uh, we have to give up our weapon. So be it. And this is going to allow us access into the basement. This part is going to be a little bit tough. Um, it's going to require a bit of muscle memory on your behalf. However, you know, I will show you a little bit of both and what you should do and not do. This isn't me eating a dad like, oh, look, he's showing us what to do. No, no. You'll see. It'll be good. Also, four means death. Okay, so you're gonna be getting a uh, camera. The camera's gonna be your way of seeing through the darkness. Uh, it's a camera. The moment you get it, you lose vision. The only way you're gonna be seeing is by pushing, you know, the cross button, which is now the camera button. The layout is always going to be the same. All right, so when you enter uh, about this room, uh, not this one, this one, memorize where you're going, because you want to go just to the left here. Do not push it at all during this screen. Uh, there's going to be dudes above. They might kill you. Also, you push it too much, you can end up in the attic. After that, you'll see, hey, you're going the right way. Uh, if you spam the camera, it can lead you getting more cutscenes than you want, uh, which is not good. If you memorize where to go, then you don't need to, uh, you don't need to spam. Uh, the big thing I want you to see, though, is that after this door, there's going to be a little staircase right here. Uh, and then once you are able to move right, you can just start spam. But once you kind of lose the vision of John Ward, spam the shit out of it. You want this guy to show up. By the way, he's back. Remember this guy? Alrighty. This is gonna be hard without being able to see, so uh you push the button all you want here. Be very careful. Nice. Is that the goon man? No, that's not the goon man. The Goon Man died in Faith Chapter 1. The Goon Man is Michael. They're scary. How are cookies scary? What did you do to them? The only part you would need to spam the camera in truly, though, is um, the one part with the, uh, the monster there, because his activation requires you to spam him. And here, from here on out, you can move left for a few screens, and then you can... Uh, know where the stairs are and you're good to go you don't lose any time by pushing the camera just be careful in the first couple rooms because one there'll be some dudes that will kill you if you push the camera in a bad spot uh two you can accidentally trigger an extra room if you keep pushing the camera and that is a room that has uh it's like an amy jump scare which it's cool but like you know it loses time if you have to do that room All right. You missed the priest cop? Yes. Well, kind of. No, he'll come up later. All right, so this boss fight, uh, the way it works is that the candles will light up. They're aiming for the candles. 
So he can be sneaky. Uh, I've seen him literally spawn directly on top of people. Usually when he does that, he does like a swap. Alright, good fight. The swap's really the thing that kind of messes with people. Eating chocolate soap? Maybe. Also, chat, you can't all be the goon man. Cool, Mark Ram. What, the Poon Man? I don't know about that one. Anyway, this is a mechanic to teach you uh, later. Uh, you have to fight it off, John. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll walk it off. It's fun, isn't it, Polly? All right, uh, before we go back to floor five, we're gonna be going to floor two. Uh, this is going to be having one of the, um, one of the puzzles that you need. I'll be on the left. Yeah, Feliz Año Nuevo. Ken Adams, Happy New Year to you. Hope you have uh, some good stuff going on. Nice. All right, the sigils are not broken, and we can get in the boss room. So I have heard things about this boss room. I have never been able to get. And yeah, that's uh, Happy New Year in Spanish. I have heard that it's the last one it goes to, but I've never been able to get there. Well, thank you. Thank you. Like, I've never been able to get this boss fight done, like, properly, properly. So I just try my best. Oh, wait. Why did that one auto- wait, no. Yeah, why did that one auto split? That's so weird. I got here as fast as I could. Let's go, Lisa. Okay, Mobile Crossing is your friend. Now, every time you exercise Lisa, it will have to be refreshed. Remember that. Every time you go between the two of them, you will have to refresh the mobile cross. Lisa, can you get, like, away from me? That being said... Oh, wait, uh, sorry. Whenever you... With Lisa. It's weird. I'm not sure why. It's kind of... It's odd. Odd is the way I'd put it. Wow, good luck. I'll say right now, a fun safety strat is you get Lisa caught on the, uh... Get her caught on the statues and she won't attack you. She'll keep running into it. That's a good strat. Nice. Anyway, at that point, you can now begin the elevator game. The elevator game goes as follows. Write it down. One. Four. By the way, if anyone enters the elevator, immediately go to the button and push the next one. Two. If you mess up any of this, go back to one. Six. Do -do -do -do. Two. 
two. Ten. So this is actually based on something called the elevator game, which is like, I think it's a popular game in Japan, where it's like haunted elevators, where if you do the uh, correct order of buttons, you'll end up going to another world instead of another floor. And there is hints in the game to know about this, but if you know the elevator game, you can just do it. There's also a secret boss you can fight, like a mini boss, um, that will help you with this, but... In our case, uh, we know the answer, so you can just do the elevator game right when you beat, um, not Lisa. John Ward does not come to save you. Again, getting someone to enter the elevator is RNG. It doesn't always happen. It can happen. Uh, I don't think it'll happen here. Uh, anyway, if you did it right, after five, you push one, and you'll go to floor ten. So we did it right. And that's why my splits say 1, 4, 2, 6, 2, 10, 5, 1. And hey, fine, you can actually see the mini boss take the child away, so the child is uh, hanging out with them. And this boss fight will absolutely ruin your run. This is probably one of the meanest ones, because the rain is brutal. My god, Obi, oh. is that you? That's what he said, Frost. Anyway, funny enough, uh, the secret bosses are actually a spin on an old religious thing. Uh, for those of you who do not know, a uh, popular thing in religion is uh, the idea of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. So, faith is fun, because there's the mother, daughter, and the unholy manifestation. And now... Okay, this boss fight's tough. Mobile Crossing's nice. Guess what we're doing immediately. Okay, so she's gonna move like a DVD menu. They'll also teleport around you. Spectre range, uh, do not touch the demon's legs or its, like, shoulders. Okay. Who's the first death? I think it's meant to be Gary's mom. And yeah, it's pretty damn good. Almost. All right, good. She might. If she does, that's a pretty uh, neat note. Anyway, just keep in mind where she's teleporting. Keep your distance. It's a pretty uh, safe fight regardless of that. Just know where you're going. Mobile Crossing's your friend. Uh, what are we doing here? Until it's over. The fight ends when you kill that. A lot of players will actually get hung up on that. And they will get got, and then you're doing it all over again. Fight's not done until it's done, and that's a mean one. Anyway, Damnatio Memore. You have to jump in the hole. That's evil. 
I think it did, yeah. Actually, I don't have to do it all over again, but if you're doing good Christian boy, you definitely lose the run there. Or if you're doing GCB, it would kill you there. Tunnel 4? Tell me it'd be Tunnel 2. And that's chapter two. We've done uh, two of the three major chapters of Faith Chapter 3, or I guess stages. And we have cleared another sigil. Exactly, Ultima. Exactly. All right, uh, back up to the attic. Chat is talking about MIDI, yeah. There's a lot of neat stuff about this game. I'll tell you right now as well, this game is really easy to get into for speedrunning. Um, being able to have the mobile cross makes a lot of the uh, difficulty much, much nicer. Uh, like, if you don't know about mobile crossing and you're trying to do this, you're playing at a disadvantage massively. I know the game intended for you not to do that, but also they've kept it in as a neat speedrunning trick for, um, you know, for all the updates. I definitely don't think you should play it, you know, in your first time, but, uh, you know, if you're trying to do a lot of the challenges or stuff like that, definitely do this. How's it going, uh, Pepsiminator? We're doing good. Simminator. There was a weird change, uh, I don't remember what it was, but there was a weird change on the later patches, where I know some speedruns started down patching, but, um, you know, it still has a lot of the tech in it. Least. I love the zoom. I shall steal. Right here. New game seven hit. Uh, Gastro. Uh, you know what year this came out, right? Poor John. Poor John. Cause this game came out in twenty twenty two. Stamina, stamina, that's fair. Yeah, the propane sap is actually a reference to the 1980s Satanic, pan uh, satanic Panic. Because back in the 80s, a lot of people were talking about the propane Sabbath and how Halloween's going to be of a devil. So it's a reference to that whole culture. And the scares. All right, this puzzle will be pretty easy. You just look around like for different like symbols in the room, but luckily it's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, the answer is OJ pink, blue, red. Uh, let's see. There, nice and easy. I just write it down. Uh, so honestly, writing down puzzles is pretty good. Uh, for that one, I write it down. Uh, and right now, this would be a very, very difficult puzzle. I assure you, I'm not lying to you again. I probably am. It does suck, and you have good taste. Julie Puff. Uh, so first off, this painting needs to melt. So you need to wait. While you're waiting, I'm going to check Twitter. Again, again, I've always had a great streak. I have salt and pepper. 
God, this is your time to follow me on tw social media. Check out my Twitch. Check out my YouTube. Check out my uh, my Twitter. Oh my God, wait. Oh my God, there it is. I, I, I take a moment to plug myself. See anything good on Twitter? Uh. No. Dude, there's somebody grabbing Ramanu. I want Ramanu, by the way. And uh, play this game? I'll get him out. I'm gonna get a blue sky? I don't want a blue sky. Do people use blue sky, like, actually? I thought people were using Twitter until it turned paid. And if it turns paid, I immediately really stop using Twitter. And I avoid the dude, and, uh... You're gonna be going up. Uh, activate all three. Uh, I'm just going back and forth. Uh, funny enough, there is one minor skip I didn't do. Actually, I don't think you can do it in marathon mode. Uh, either way, um, if you're doing just chapter three, if you turn off the needle jump scare, you save like a second. And now I wait for the drug trip. Turn from MySpace. People were trying to bring it back. They had a they had a MySpace pro account thing. I get Blue Sky's a nicer place, but like, what's the word? I don't know. I'm kind of always heavily curated my social media, so I never have a, a real problem with what I see. And that's kind of one of those things that realistically, unless it becomes like paid, I don't think it's gonna die. And also, I like dunking on people too. I've seen dunking people too much in some of the shit posts. No, John. Uh, no, he doesn't have that. He, they probably injected John with. I think chat came to the conclusion that it was probably. I think they said. Well, it has to be injected, right? Oh, it was drugs, but it, I'm trying to think of what drug it would be. I think people said it may have been DMT or LSD. DMT is probably the most likely. Well, chat, they injected him with a hallucinogenic. They didn't inject him with, like... You know. Well, no, because peyote, you have to eat it. I, I don't know about mescaline. I never... I don't know anything about mescaline, but it's very likely DMC. Well, Chad, get out your profits. There you go. They injected him with insulin. <laughs> oh, of course. You know, I like that on Love Tag. It's a good one. Oh, it's such a great face. If you don't have the emo, you have to use channel points. Alrighty. Now we're kind of back to the game. Fun thing here. If you want to get the boss spawned, just en exit and enter the room like three times. If you did it right, this painting will be destroyed. And then the next room? Mostly smoking. LSD would make more sense. But also, normally you have to like... What's the word? Normally it dissolves. Anyway, this fight's really easy. Just, um, uh, you know. Don't get hit. Uh, he's pretty slow moving. He's pretty just there. Ideally, you want to end up on the left side at the end of this. Oh, of course, Barsa, of course. And some good damage out. But yeah, this boss fight's definitely the easiest in the game, I think. 
The only catch is if you get hit, he sends you to like another dimension. That's kind of annoying. Good timing. Even easier than Mother? Actually, I guess Mother would be easier. I guess you're right on that one. Second easiest boss in the game. How's that sound? Better? Alrighty. So the idea here is they have to solve three puzzles. Uh, on the left side, uh, you're going to get a lot of statues. Best strategy in this room. This is going to be the easy side. We do the easy side first. Uh, as they keep spawning in, what you're going to do is when you see the dude, there's going to be a dude, you're going to ignore him. I know it's easier said than done. Just go up. Congratulations, you've done it. You don't want to go to work? I hear that. But sometimes you have to work. On Christmas, too. Sometimes. How good night? Oh, wait. No, no. Uh, how good night, Silent? Sleep well. I, th I, I realize you're saying you're you're not gonna. I thought you were just like, no, the soft was still awake. All right. So, this boss fight. Uh, this is gonna be a mask. Uh, the dude spawns here. Just stand next to him. Mobile cross. Pretty juicy. Hey, we did it. Look at nice sound. Okay. Next area. This is probably the hardest room in all of Faith. Or the hardest rooms. It is a three-pronged effect. It might take me a couple tries, or maybe I get lucky. I'm not like this is the this is why I don't like doing GCB. One, go up. Ignore this guy. Two, game is red light, green light. Respect the timing. You can get probably to about this torch. You could get a little bit further if you want, but be respectful. And then last one, you can go all the way. He might chase you, you'll get away. All right, now this one. Uh, there's a line you can take, or what you can do is you can start up, and then you can go down a little bit. And you're up. I've known that a lot more. It's a little bit safer. There's a line you can also walk. Just keep in mind the best way of avoiding the dudes is by going down, by you know avoiding their plane. Uh, those guys are really rough. I made that look easy. It is not. If you die there, that's fine. That that's a hard room. And you have to practice that a lot. Getting to that is hard. You can wiggle out. It's not easy. So, just keep that in mind. If you're dying there, that's not a problem. That is not an easy room. All right. So, we've done the major puzzles, and now we have a couple more. Uh, this one's going to be a bit of a walk in the dark. Uh, well, no, not yet. We have the, um, the fences first, then we have the walk in the dark. Partake of the dark. Mm. This part's pretty fun. Uh, it's gonna get darker and darker as you proceed. It's actually just kind of a, uh, get a flashlight sort of deal. It's really easy, just, you know, know where you're going, know how to move. Old school movement at its finest. You lay your body every 15 to 20 minutes. So I've heard. Well, it doesn't make sense, though, that the drug they gave John is probably a hallucinogenic. I don't know if Airdorf ever specified, but considering what it is, it's probably going to be either, my guess is DMT or, like, a heavy dosage of either that or LSD. Peyote and mushrooms require you to eat them. You can't, I don't think you can inject that in your body. So... Like, I, I can't imagine injecting those. 
Like, LSD is more liquid, but even then, I don't know how well that would work as an injection. Have a good night, Barisona. Rest easy. I was a chat. We're about to get a horrifying jump scare coming up. Hope you're ready. Oh my god, it's a bird! Also, chat, I think I do need to take a brief moment to play, uh... I'm gonna take a brief moment right now to play an ad, because this part's gonna be pretty chill. Uh, I want to do it because I really do not want any of the finale to be missed. I think we might be able to make it, but still. I'm gonna say right now, okay? You're not gonna be missing too much. I'm just gonna do it now, because I'd rather not worry. I'd rather you not get the ad, okay? I don't want a chance at it at all. Got it? Let's so do it right now. Yo, I'm avoiding Ablock to show us up to the channel. Prime Gaming. Okay, I'm doing it now. Ready? Let's go. All right. And also, I'm gonna turn on that. This part's pretty easy. You're gonna start by going left, uh, right about here. Uh, you can just follow the red. Uh, the guy's gonna be like right over here or so, like one screen to the left. Uh, fine, if you know where you're going, um, you can actually bypass the puzzle. Uh, you see red dots, you know you're going the right way, or if you hear that. Aim for three dudes, but just two to the left. Can you send me mushrooms, some sort of injection to work? May I don't know if you can actually inject them, but maybe. Definitely not. And I've been called something of a fun guy myself. Mark. Fucker spawned on top of me, by the way. I've been called something of a fun guy myself, Chad. Anyway, something to note. You can get really unlucky, and they can spawn directly on top of you. It is where Mortis comes from, yeah. If that happens, that's unlucky. Yeah, I can't imagine injecting mushrooms is a good idea. If you're going to have them, probably eat them. In all fairness, though, I do want to go to a point that, in terms of faith, uh, I don't think John Ward was trying to healthily take mushrooms. I think someone stabbed him with a needle and forcibly injected drugs directly into his body. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what's that? Anyway, these are always the same path. If you really do want to know where to go, uh, the red dots on the ground will go. Um, the way I'm going will always work. Uh, you don't have to follow the red dots, but just know there's one on the top, one on the right, one on the left. Left is twice, uh, twice left. Um, the one on the top is going to be a little bit weirder. You have to like go to the right a bit, and then the one on the right is like getting closer. Almost there. Alright, there we go. I right, fucked him. He definitely fucked him up, yeah. Alright, and now we're ready to head back to the center. And then we go through the door. Welcome back from the ad, by the way, everyone. If you wonder what happened, I had a dude spawn on top of me and I died, so I had to do part of the level again. But we're actually getting to the final bosses now, and I timed that perfectly. So now we don't have to worry about any ad playing during the final boss, and that was well timed. Oh, just a placebo? Oh, yeah, he, would just, he just saw that. And sometimes... Alright, 
All right. How old is this game? Uh, came out in 2022. It, I was actually, it's more like a, like a year and some change old. Anyway, the weirdest part about this game is that they decided to give Gary Kanye West shades, which we'll probably see in a bit when we meet him. We're on this cutscene first. Also, chat, here was me every time I played Hardcore WoW and ended up in a cave. Just this, this whole dialogue. This is too much for me. I'm so afraid. Every we single time. Dude, Hardcore WoW is serious business. I got to 60 and I was so fucking terrified at every waking moment. I just want to go home. You end up in a cave for five minutes. I want to go home. <laughs> Full release 2022. Well, the, the early access ones were chapter one and two, but I think I'll chapter three came out with all of it. Just stay me away from here. Oh. I'm so scared. I swear it. It's been a little bit more human to differentiate. No, I kind of dig it. It was uh, meant to be the old school uh, computer style. This is meant to be like an Atari style horror game and it kind of uses old school media. Uh, Chad talked about it earlier, but Baby Cow Muffins, part of the charm is that this game wanted to do something called the SAM because old school games didn't have voice acting. They had uh, electronic voices and really wanted to pay homage to an older, older generation you never get to see for gaming. And well, obviously some things that make it a little bit nicer, that's where the voices come in. So you're the one yeah, that's the point, though. Houses. In the name of the Lord, I demand to know what the hell is going on yeah. here. <laughs> See, look at him. He has the shades. I don't know why they gave well, him the shades. You have come this far. I suppose you deserve some answers. Fine, you get your request, job, but no more. A gift. You just match with the dialogue here, it's pretty chill. And then, we're gonna be getting to the very finale of the game, which at that point, that's where a lot of the, uh, a lot of the action's gonna be happening. Yeah, I think they're roughly about the same length. I imagine there probably could be a little bit more into it, but I just mash it. Are we getting random spiders? We'll get random spot. Well, it's RNG actually. Uh, the boss fight for Gary is weird because it's entirely dependent on what Gary wants to do. The Gary boss fight's hilarious. All the all his fights are pretty interesting. No matter, once you have completed your journey, she will be my again. Are we done chatting? It's going good, Robin. I'll be doing good. Alright, let's do this. So, the Gary boss fight. I Spam profit. For Twitch chat. The boss fight's gonna be the dumbest thing. Hold the cross at him and don't move. You're going to be eating every hit he gives you. Whenever he uh, hits you, just grab your cross back. There's your rain of spiders. That's an attack. Run into it. It will spawn back Gary. Doesn't matter what he does. You will just run into every single hit he gives you. The reason why is because it'll reset his position where you can totally attack him. Meaning you get a free hit. That's just right, you just run into every hit.
Isn't that a great song? Also, that song is uh, also from Catherine. It's really cool. It's the the chopping. All right. Oh wait, no, I've got that. No, that's good. Actually, I don't know if I'm supposed to split there. We'll see. I don't know why that got auto modded. Can a mod allow that? That's more than fine. Anyway, jump into the hole. This is the true ending right here. The crucible. Uh, layout here is going to literally be uh, what you've been doing the whole time. You're going to the attic yet again. So earlier, Faith Chapter 2 is actually a dream. It's John having a nightmare and he's dreaming about meeting Garcia and helping him along uh, to deal with his journey. In Chapter 3, he actually meets Garcia, and he's even more badass than he thought. Anyway, final boss time. Gary Phase 1 is easy. Gary Phase 2 will fuck you up. Let's go. Oh, we witness the profane Sabbath. But first, let you in on a secret. Gary does not love you. Alright, Gary does not love you, and Mo will cross immediately. Gary has a few attacks here. Uh, he'll either charge you or he'll charge wildly. Uh, you can hide kind of behind the mother. You know, I don't remember him ever turning off the dark. Uh, this is new to me. He's doing the, the charge around. Charge around's a good attack. Charging at you is a bit more risky, uh, because he'll go directly on your position. Mobile Crossing is your friend. If he stops, you must gain some distance. In fact, it's kind of recommended maybe a little before that. That's kind of the stop I'm talking about. Uh, it looks like he is charging wildly. That's fine. Yeah, normally you can just charge wildly without the light is oh, the weird part. All right, he might charge at me. Yep, that's at me. Right at me. Woo! Okay, close. Uh, charging at you can be mean. Uh, those sigils on the ground will also prevent you from, uh, moving. Uh, you can attack both targets at the same time if you get behind one of them. However, depending on where you are and depending on where Gary is, may not be worth it. Especially considering I had a feeling he was going to be doing that. Uh, the other guy also will be doing a thing where he can spawn directly on top of you if you decide to cheese him too much. Uh, the best strategy is getting immediately behind this guy. Uh, however, right now, Gary is... Oh! Woo! Okay, he's wildly charging. Alright! Winner! We've done it! We've now beaten the game! That is Faith down, pretty easy, got them both together, nothing's wrong there, and we have done it. Congratulations! I lied. Okay, final boss time. You have 10 hits. Uh, mobile cross immediately. I hope you're good at bullet and hell shooters. You have some leeway on getting hit. Uh, don't get hit. Uh, the best thing to do, ideally, is just kind of stand underneath, respect the range. Uh, the attacks may be pretty predictable. It's always going to be the same patterns. You have a lot more leeway than you think you do. Uh, these skulls are going to explode. Uh, you can actually just kind of barely move and dodge them. It's pretty straightforward. If you get a hit, like I said, it's not a death. Uh, you kind of just get this cutscene. Lose a minor amount of time. The downside is you don't have a lot of uh, protection. You have like maybe a second or two upon getting hit to really get protected. Uh, the big one though is about to happen right now. Uh, usually around the time the song picks up, we're going to get the Ring of Fire, which should be happening in a moment here. I'm gonna stay nice and close, not too close, not too far. 
Now the big kicker's when the fight is done. Also, skulls will spawn. Don't get hit. When you do enough damage, you must go into the fire. And then... GG. We've now officially done it. And that is Faith, the Unholy Trinity. We're not done yet. Time ends when you make the final decision. But that is easily the hardest part of the game right there. Uh, the whole final ending. And there we go. GG, thank you. That's pretty good. I know. I think I might PB this even barely. I don't know. I don't know how, but it works. Got sucked up. All right, we get a sweet ending here. I hope you all enjoyed Faith, uh, the only trinity. We have one more trick for you left in this game. We're not totally done yet. But it's a really sweet game. And honestly, there's a whole lot more in the game we don't even explore because of all the notes. It's a charming run, and I hope that you really liked it. Oh, I love this game. I adore it. You can do a lore playthrough one day? Might not be a bad idea. I mean, you can always play it. There's some things about the game that you might not totally get, like... Something about even like watching videos like Speedens Explain stuff. Amen. Playing the games is a very different feel and being just behind the wheel controls very differently. Um, there's certain things you don't really think about or expect, the way the characters move, um, even things like mobile crossing in this game, just kind of the way you figure it out, it really changes. Um, I play this game a good amount. I kind of know what to expect. I kind of know how to react to it. I'm not the best at this game, but even then I'm actually pretty good at this game. Anyway, I told you we're not done yet. The ending, uh, the good ending. You pick an ending. It's actually a choice. The run ends when you see the credits. And there's one more choice that needs to be made. Hi, Zinj, you're actually doing good. I hope you're doing well. Also, I'm missing. I hope you're doing good as well. There's only one choice to make. I still have so many questions. I need to figure out this out or I'll never be able to rest. There's only one choice to be made. Son of a bitch! So, if you do the good ending and you get the best ending in Faith Chapter 3, you get this special cutscene. Otherwise, I think it's like a fist bump or something. You get something else that's not as cool as the handshake. But you get the handshake and the best ending. Come on, you gotta pick the chat. There's no other choice. I, it loses a very minor amount of time to do it. Best choice to make. Easily the best choice. Anyway, time comes up when you see ending two, I think is what it's called. All right. Both are good endings, but one is just like holding hands. While the other's best handshake in all of media. Dude, I am wildly consistent, by the way. I'm pretty sure I got a 13309 again. <laughs> Wait, did I? Wait, am I barely not PB? <laughs> well, I tried. <laughs> GG. Thank you, Killjoy. Thank you, Chad.
And... Yeah, that's a good time, Dark Mount. There we go. He did. He, he really did. And yeah, I wanted to get a run of this uh, explained fully. I do want to say I did this one for YouTube as well. I do hope that you enjoyed Faith Chapter of uh, the Unholy Trinity as a speedruns explained kind of thing. I kind of wanted to go into a lot more of how this game works. There's a lot of neat stuff. There's a bunch of different categories based on the endings. Uh, the idea of having a game breaking mechanic with Mobile Crossing I thought was cool, and I fell in love with this game. So hopefully you all enjoyed it as well. If you're watching on YouTube, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to see other games, let me know what you think. Faith!